Hey guys, Mitsurugi Jones back again with Disciples Reincarnation. It's Disciples 3. And I'm just going to bring up my little warrior nun here, and then we're going to get over to Lambert and the storytelling part. And it's coming up right now. Hello there, my good man. How much further to Levendale? You're almost there, sir. Just beware, a gang of grain divers has recently come through. I'm sure you can drive them off. After all, robbing the dead doesn't take much courage, does it? But there's a night crypt in the place. In life, Sir Patrick was a noble and generous man. It would be a pity if his bones were defiled. Okay, so we need to find Sir Patrick. We just need to follow the uh, giant glowing balls. Let's see, is there a way back this way to get up there? What do we got here? Actually, I think I am going to have to go back in that direction here pretty soon anyway to finish up the quest, if I remember the map correctly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and push on in this direction and do what i got to do up here, and then I'll hit that on the way. So let's see, what's back up in this direction here? Oh, fallen Log is blocking our progress. We'll go ahead and finish this turn. Get some more, and yeah, I can't really get back there, doesn't look like. So we're going to go over to this tower here and speak with uh, Johan. I am glad to welcome you to these humble walls, my son. It has been a long time since I last saw you. You were young and filled with fire then, and I can see in your eyes that you have not changed much since then. Well, you have something which excites a great interest in the Inquisition and the Holy Church, and I have it within my power to solve the problems facing a certain young lady. I have heard terrible accusations. It is a tragic situation. I fear I do not understand you. It seems as though our Grand Inquisitor has just debased himself by threatening a young girl's life and resorting to blackmail. Be warned, Johan. I am no longer the boy you knew. I will be sure that the Emperor hears of your lawlessness in this province. Such is my duty. Clear Odell of these baseless charges and this will be borne in mind at your sentence. Well, the poor thing has already played her part. To be honest, I care little if she is staked or not. But I will not tolerate refusal, and I am pleased that you finally agreed to bring that so-called Lady Inuel to this place. You do realize that you are interfering with the judgment of the Inquisition. This woman is considered an imposter and a heretic until I determine otherwise. This matter is spiritual, not political, and this falls under my jurisdiction, not the Emperor's. I shall fulfill Meridor's orders. As to your rationale for disobeying the Emperor's will, I am curious what the Emperor himself shall have to say of this. Would you speed your pace to the gallows? False accusation, blackmailing, does the High Father teach us these things? Inuel is pure and innocent, she brings light into the hearts and minds of people. She is the salvation of Nevendar. You poor misguided child. Do you know that soon after you left the capital, the Emperor took ill and retired to his bedchambers? Oh yes, it is quite sad. Even the best healers in the land can find no remedies capable of alleviating his pain. And we have reason to believe that all of this is on account of the scheming of this Inuel, the heretic and impostor. Place this treacherous woman into the hands of the Inquisition. If our trials confirm her divine nature, then she will be buried with honors. Are you merely wasting my time or what? I demand Lady Odell be cleared of all charges, as they are totally without merit, as you well know. In addition, I will report to the Emperor everything that has transpired here today. As for his sickness, yes, I am aware of it. He warned me that movements in the halls of the capital are far more complicated than those on the battlefield, and smiles often conceal poisoned daggers. Farewell for now, Johan. Do not try to place any further obstacles in our way. You are a stubborn fellow indeed, Lambert and stubbornness is much like pride. Pride is a sin, and you will be brought to pay for it. If not on earth, then certainly in the heavens. Your Odell is cleared of charges, for now. 
The Inquisition will suspend its investigation, but do not expect an apology. My lady, can you help me? It will only take a couple of minutes, but my request is too delicate for a man's ears. Can you come outside for a moment? Please, I beg you. You poor thing. You look so frightened. Of course I'll help you. It is the duty of every true believer to help those in need. Come, you wait here, Stafford. And just like that, gone girl. Let's go ahead and stick a post in this hole right here. Make sure we got a tower available just in case we come across any NPCs. And I don't believe there are any uh, roaming NPCs in this level, but I'm not entirely sure, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure that that is shored up. Make sure nobody grabs that and what put a little defense in that area. Now, let's see, what can we do with our warrior nun? Let's go up in this direction and give a little backup to Lambert, because God knows he might need it. And, well, we got a little star here, and, oh, there's our little hovel. Let's uh, jump up in there real quick, or towards that direction anyway. Go ahead and end this turn. Now let's go to Lambert. See what we can do. What's this gentleman over here got to do? I'm on duty at the moment and cannot be bothered. Okay. Well, guess we can't go that way. So it is back in this direction, which I thought it probably would be. We're going to go ahead, jet down here to the little glowing spot, which probably means it's our ne next objective uh, before we start moving on to uh, Sir Patrick and then finally uh, to the end, which is up in the top right corner. There's a star there if you can see in the mini map. That will be what our ultimate goal is. What do we got over here? Uh, this pass is closed by order of the Grand Imperial Johan IV. Away with you, knights. Okay, we've heard that before, obviously. So we can't move until Lambert gets down to that uh, sweet spot on the map. So let's get him moving in that direction. Not much further to go on this particular level, I don't think. Maybe this video, maybe one more, and then we'll be done with level two. Go ahead, double check in here, see what we got. We yeah, we got plenty of good people on our team. Now we are missing Inuel, but we do have a nice um, leveled out healer here. That Johan is such a scoundrel. I had good reason to distrust him. I wonder how my father could have ever been friends with him. On the other hand, he could be a different man now than he was back then. Perhaps he was corrupted by power. Stafford, where is Inuel? She should be here. She went out to speak with the young lady who asked her for some assistance. She said that her trouble was a delicate matter, and Inuel did not allow me to follow her. Do you realize what you've done? You've just handed our lady to the Inquisition. May legions gnaw their bones. Come, we must act quickly, before it is too late. My lord, a small band of riders fled the city through the southern gates. They were carrying a large sack. All right, looks like we are on our last leg of our journey here, and we need to go speak to this, uh, go up in that area there and speak to somebody, but right now, I want to go, because I'm not sure when the next time I'm going to be able to hit a castle. So I'm going to go in here, check what they have in the store, see if I can buy anything that is uh, going to be necessary for the last leg of the journey here. And let's see here, I'm not seeing any summoner spells that I'm really interested in, but there are a couple pieces of equipment here. Death Grip... Oh, Desk Grasp, plus two to Dexterity, and yeah, I think I already got one of those that I already like. So I'm going to go ahead, sell that up, let's buy ourselves these, go ahead and deck him out a little bit. Now that we get out of the castle, we can check on the equipment, and let's pull these over here. And did it change his appearance? You know what, I didn't even look at it before I changed his appearance. Um, let's go ahead. Okay, so they turn into blue gloves. Which is nice, I guess. I don't know, they look they look awesome to me because blue is my favorite color, but... Um, you know what? It's plus two dexterity, I'm going to take it no matter what anyway. So now we need to go back to the castle, resell these old gloves away because we don't need them anymore. Go ahead and grab our cash out of that. Now I don't think I'm really going to be able to buy anything with 1500 so we're just going to go ahead and go out and start moving in the direction we need to start moving in. By the High Father, it's them. The demons. Get them, man. 
All right, well, I guess it is fight time, and they are way out of their league. Well, we got two thugs at level 5 and a level 16 spearmen, so uh, they're pretty much toast. I just want to go ahead and set our guys up for success here. I'm going to go ahead and hold off for the archer, and then we'll make for that stump probably thereafter. Go ahead and get our witch hunters in in here in the direct front line, and maybe Stafford... I'm going to protect Lambert, so we'll keep Stafford uh, in that middle slot there. Go ahead, take a little bit of damage. Now, no interception for the Witch Hunters, which is another uh, its another con for using them in the tech tree. So probably won't use them again. Go ahead and get Stafford up here in the middle. Now, by attacking the Thug, went ahead and got the intercept from this Spearman here. And Stanford can easily take the strike. And those Witch Hunters, though, are a little bit different story. Now our Mage can hit all three units, since they're all standing like idiots in a line. Go ahead and get our Archer up in this direction. We'll go ahead and take a pot shot at this Thug on the end. And 56 damage. Not enough to kill him, but oh, look, he gets another shot. So let's get on our little stump. Take a shot at him. And that'll be all she wrote for her uh, for that thug. Now I don't know if I can hit the spearman from there, but I guess we'll find out next turn. Let's go ahead, heal up this guy. Unfortunately, another con with the witch hunters is they have pretty low hit points all of the time. So they do have some redeeming qualities, but I probably should have used them in a different level. Go ahead and get Lambert up in this area. Maybe we can round this corner and get at him from a different angle. Now he couldn't take the shot from the stump, so he just walked off the stump and then missed. Like a moron. But we can get to the uh, focal point here with the other witch hunter. And that will take him out. Probably would have took him out if he was just standing on normal ground anyway. But you know what? What are you going to do? Now, just go ahead and speed through this. And it looks like we're going to lose. Oh, we're going to lose Stafford. Okay, that's okay though. Stafford will be okay. We'll just get him to a tempo. We'll get him healed up. He'll be good, good as new. Halt right there. Come no further. Wait a moment. Their blood is as red as ours. We've been tricked. These men are not demons. How very observant of you. You've just attacked a knight of the Empire, an Imperial Guardsman to be precise. And you've also kidnapped a noble lady. Where is Lady Inuel? Where is the girl who was taken from the city? Surely you jest, my lord. A lady? Why... In this back and beyond, we've not seen a woman for over a month. We were hired by the Inquisitor, or should I say, a man dressed like one. He told us that he was being pursued by demons disguised as knights. But now I see that he's lied to us. His name? I need the name of that Inquisitor. And where is he? If I only knew, my lord. Please, don't be angry with me or my men. We didn't see any girl. But the men saw this inquisitive fellow tossing a large sack into the ravine. Her sack was filled with old rags. We thought he'd lost his mind, but he paid us in gold. So we agreed to help him. Damnation! We were tricked like simple children. You, keep the gold, but don't believe just anyone you meet. By the way, the Count's castle is in dire need of reliable men and workers. Get yourselves there and tell them that you were sent by Lambert Wainwright. Our road takes us to Levendale once more, and this time we shan't allow anyone to make fools of us. Only Johan could be so treacherous. I swear upon the High Father, he will pay dearly for every tear shed by Inuel. If he has touched a single hair on her head, I shall slice the, the duplicitous scoundrel in two. He may have been a man of honor in the old days, but I shall put him down like a rabid dog. Well, all right then. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it for this video. It is Mitsurugi Jones, and we will check you guys next time. Oh,